Hello, my name is Daniel DeVizio. I'm an advisor here at Signet Financial Management. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a topic that comes up pretty often among my clients, which is how much money am I going to need to retire? Now, in order to answer that question, it really comes down to two parts. The first part being how much income are you going to need in retirement? And then how much money do you have to have saved in order to reach that income? So let's use an example because I find that's the easiest way to sort of break this down. So let's take a couple that's making $150,000 a year right now while they're employed. They say to me, I'd like to maintain the same lifestyle in retirement. Okay, that's easy. Let's back out things that are no longer going to be there in retirement. And then let's figure out your actual income needs for retirement. So in this example, they make $150,000 a year. They pay $20,000 a year in employment taxes. Those are gonna go away in retirement. Uh, then they also save $10,000 a year toward their 401k, 403b, IRAs, for all their different savings vehicles. Uh, and then the third thing we could remove is the mortgage. They tell me they're going to have their mortgage paid off at, by the time they retire, and it's $20,000 a year of mortgage payments. So now we've got a couple that's making $150,000 that really only needs $100,000 of income. So how do we get that $100,000 of income? Now it comes down to look at all the different sources of funds for your retirement. Uh, most of my clients have Social Security. Social Security, again, there's some people that don't qualify for Social Security, but um, let's just assume you have Social Security. In this example, we've got a couple that are making $25,000 a year each in, uh, in retirement for Social Security. So now, instead of needing $100,000, they only need $50,000 because they've already got $50,000 covered from Social Security. Uh, one of the two in this couple actually has a uh, prior job, they've got a very small pension that pays them about $10,000 a year. So now they've got $60,000 of income in retirement that they already know they're getting and they need $100,000. So now the gap is $40,000 that we have to make up from their savings, from their IRAs, 401ks, you know, from all their savings vehicles. Um, in order to determine how to get that $40,000, um, there is what's considered the rule of thumb, which is just the 4% safe withdrawal rate. Um, again, this is not an exact science. This is just so you can get a general ballpark idea of what you're going to need. Um, the 4% rule says that somebody, to, in order to generate $40,000, they'd need $1 million of retirement savings. Again, because 4% of $1 million is $40,000. So now we've determined how much they're actually gonna to need to save for retirement. Uh, so that's, that's generally how you can determine how much you're gonna need for retirement. Um, I will say, uh, I don't like to necessarily say that's what you have to do because these are more rules of thumb. They're, they're sort of back of the napkin math. Uh, it's a good way to get an idea, a general idea of how much you should have saved for retirement. If you're looking for a more custom, more accurate answer for your personal situation, again, everyone's situation is completely different and we like to have more of a unique answer for every single person. Uh, what you should do is you should contact your advisor here at Signet Financial Management. We can help you run a financial plan. We, it's a very comprehensive plan. It can help you determine how much you're gonna need to have saved, how much you can spend in retirement. Um, it's actually a very, very good, uh, good thing to do. And clients that I've run this for have told me that they have a lot more relief when they're in retirement, knowing that they've got a plan in place. Um, so please contact your advisor here at Signet Financial Management. Uh, we could be reached at 973-543-6660. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.